Okay, so on to the technical practice for the PDP week one. And here you have two cones. If you don't have cones at home, obviously water bottles, sweatshirts, that kind of thing will be absolutely fine. Um, how far away should you do them? You can do it as close or as long as you like. If you've got a big backyard, stretch it nice and wide. If you don't and you've got a bit of a lim limited space, obviously do it a little bit closer. Um, I'm gonna now pretend that there is an invisible line between one cone and the other. And I'm gonna try and stick to that invisible line as much as I can. I'm gonna dribble the ball and try and keep really close control with my toes pointing down and tap the ball as many times with the laces as I can. I'll give you a little demonstration and then obviously you can have a go yourself. So I use my right foot there, I'm going to do it as many times as I can, and then I'm going to go on to the left. What I would like you to try and do is maybe change your speed a little bit. So when I go uh, to the halfway point, maybe I really accelerate and uh, have slightly bigger touches like I'm really trying to beat away from a defender. We're going to use the sole of the foot, we're going to face one way, and we're going to roll the ball across our body. So I'll show you here to start, your foot on the ball, and you're just going to roll the ball across your body, okay? I'll show you now between the cones. So this time, I'm facing the different way, foot on the ball, and I'm gonna roll the ball, and then I'm gonna change to the left foot. Right foot on the way there, left foot on the way back. So to start, I'm gonna keep it nice and easy. I'm gonna dribble with the laces, I'm going to stop with the sole and then I'm going to dribble again with the laces just accelerating with a little bit of speed. Then we're going to progress it on with maybe a fake pass or something different. So I'm using the laces, I'm going to dribble, stop the ball and then really drive with a bigger touch with the uh, laces again. I'm going to show you one more time. Touch in, stop and accelerate the other side. Remember, if you have a bigger space, you're going to really be able to accelerate that a little bit longer. So maybe try and make it a bit further than I have out here. So I'm dribbling towards you guys. Foot on the ball, drag, and roll with the sole into a new space. to push across and the outside to go around the defender. Now I'll do it at full speed. So we want you to have some fun with this. So if you can try the ones we showed you with your right and your left foot, really practice with a purpose. The harder you try, the more speed you get, the closer control you have, the better soccer player you're gonna be. But we also want you to be creative. We wanna see them. So if you've got a different move, a different drop shoulder, a different way of dribbling, show us. Every time you get to that final cone, you might do a turn and then explode away. That's great. If you've got a soccer goal at home, or you wanna make a goal out of bags or something, how about dribble to the end and then fire a shot at goal? We'd love to see them. Have fun and see you next week.